Thank you. The president of York Entrepreneurship Development Institute, Mr. Mara Dressin. The instructors, organizers, and particip participants of YEDI International Startup Program. Uh, the Minister of Economy, uh, the deputies of National Assembly for Armenia. Dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, I have been happy to collaborate with all of you during this unprecedented business educational program, and you are always welcome to return to Armenia and find my support, my overall support. Um, I am proud to re represent a year one branch of uh, Plekhanov Russian Economy uh, University, uh, which is a partner of the YEDI program. Uh, and let me to continue my speech in Armenian, and I ask to Shushan, Shushana will uh, provide the translation. Hargeli Tiknakiev Palonaik, Hargajan Hurer, Hargeli Palon Resin, Hargeli Palon Nakhalar. Asgani Jorovi, Hargeli Padgama Vornet, Siro Vorchunum Mzes, Canada, Yorki, the Nered Tian Zargatsman Institute, Plehanovi and Varum Sustain to the Sagitakan Hamasarani, Yerevanian Masna Juri, Hamater, and Scatsvats, Michas Gain, Startup, Dragri, Ice, Zapakit, Michas Arman. Naki Varai Sankan, in Horish Norakals in Heitner, Yorki, the Nered Tian Zargatsman Institute, Nahaga, Baron Marat Racinin, Cannibal Hentish Nor, he ever rise Caribor Michas Arum, not Gatsum, a high stone. But send me Gachnik. Այս միջոցառումը նախատեսված էր անցկացնել Մոսկվայում, քանի որ Եդին համագործակցում է մեր գոհամասային բուհի հետ։ Սակայն հետևելով մեր երկրում ընթացող մեր երկրում ընթացող քաղաքական անցու դարձին, Պարոն Ռեսինը որոշում է կայացրել այն տեղափոխել Հայաստան, դրանով իսկ իր աջակցությունը հայտնել մեր երկրում ընթացող փոփոխություններին։ Այսօր ես սպատիվ ունեմ խոսելու մի ծրագրի մասին, որն արդեն լայն ճանաչում ունի աշխարում եւ մեծ հեղանկար է բացում գիտելիքա հենց տեսության զարգացման տեսակետից։ Ծրագրին մասնակցությունը ոչ միայն աղաշնակար բիզնես կրթություն ստանալու հնարավորություն է, այլև ներառում է նորարարական բիզնես ծրագրերին եւ ստարտափերին բազմակողմանի օժանդակության ցուցաբերում։ Սա բացառիկ հնարավորություն է նոր գաղափարների ծրագրերի հեղինակների համար, որպեսի իրենք զեղ բերեն դրանք իրականացնելու, վերածելու իրականության վերածելու գործիքակազ։ Պատահական չէ, որ 2018 թվականին Շվեդական UBA Global գործակալության կողմից Եդին ճանաչվեց որպես աշխարում աղաչին համասանական բիզնես ակսելերատորը։ Եդին 2016 թվականին Իսրայելում բացեց բիզնես ակսելերատորը, իսկ 18 թվականին Լեխանովը Տեխանովյան համասանը դարձավ ուրեմն Եդի համագործակցողը եւ բազային ամբիոն բացվեց Լեխանովի տեսագիտական համասանում։ Now couple of words about Plekhanov Russian Economy University. Uh, maybe you translate this part. That's right. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, Հապարտության պետք է նշեմ, որ Կովկասյան տարածաշրջանում Պլիխանովի տնտեսագիտական համասարան ունի մեկ մասնաճյուղ, մեկ ներկայացություն, դա մեր Երևանյան ուրեման մասնաճյուղն է։ Երևանի մասնաճյուղը Պլիխանովի համասարանի այս տարի կտոնի 15 ամյակը։ Մեզ մոտ իրականացվում են բարձրագույն կրթության ծրագրեր, MBA ծրագրեր եւ նաեւ մեզ մոտ է գործում ռուսաստանի սահմաններից դուրս գործող միակ պետական ռուսական քոլեջ, աշխարհում միակ պետական ռուսական քոլեջը։ Եվ ուրախության պետք է նշեմ, որ այս տարի մեզ մոտ դիմորդների քանակը ավելին է ինքան սпасվածի երկու անգամ ավել։ Ունենք նաեւ լրացիչ կրթական ծրագրեր։ 2018 թվականից սկսած Եդին եւ Պլեխանովի համասանի միջեւ արդեն իսկ հաստատված համագործակցության շնորհիվ է, որը փաստորեն մեր մասնաճյուղը դարձավ Եդի պաշտոնական գործընկերը Հայաստանում։ Հուսով են, որ այս համագործակցությունը մոտ ապագայում շոշափելի հաջողություններ կարծանագրի, նպաստելով մեր երկու կրթական կառուցների էլ ավելի ամրապնդման ու զարգացմանը։ Անշուշտ ամենաբարձ ռեացիաներում եւս ողջունում են մեր նախաձեռնությունը, քանի որ այստեղ ներկայան եւ Պարոն Նախարարը էկոնոմիկայի հհ նախագահի օկնական Պարոն Գևորգ Մելիքյանը ողջունում է, հհ ազգային ժողովի հարգաժան պատգամավորները եւ նաեւ ես շնորհակալություն եմ հայտնում նաեւ Ռուսաստանի դեսպանատան մեր ներկայացիչներին եւ Ռոսաթունիստայի մեր ներկայացիչներին Պարոն Ռեբինսկում, որը պատվեց այսօր մեր հանդիպումը Եվ այստեղ է նաև համասարանի Երևանի մասնաճյուղի հոգաբացների խորհրդի նախագա, International Media Holding-ի պրեզիդենտ Արման Վարթանյանը, ում ավանդը մեր մասնաճյուղի զարգացման գործում ուղակի անուրանալի է։ 
Şnor havur mem tırakı da hacı olsun bana tarz mı? Masna kitsneri ni ha ki mem de havur kunen akiden şnor havur elu bu kanı var mı? Havas da gret pek hans mı? Akiden ne lan zaman elin Hayastan, Çinistan it, Hindistan it, Vietnam it, yev merhalevan İran İslam'a kan hala petütün it. Tırki ma kan şnor kaç mem hayt num paron resinin. Um astetiyan pat kanı mı yerevanı mı çot sarman ant katman gaga para. İnş pes nay bolur hürerin nerka gat mevelu hamar mev mi çot sarmanım. Once again, I congratulate all the participants of this program with successful graduation. Thank you. Warm greetings from Tamara Vartanian. First of all, she wants to express her thankfulness to the Mara Trezin, the president of Yeri, because uh, he is the initiator of holding this project in Armenia. She wants to reveal a secret. This project was planned to be held in Moscow because Yeri cooperates closely with our university in Moscow. But because of some recent changes in Armenia, Mr. Resin decided to seize the changes and hold the program in Yerevan. Tamar Vartanyan hopes that the partnership between Yeri and Plekhanov University will achieve tangible success in the near future, contributing to the development and prosperity of our two educational institutions. Thank you. Now I would like, uh, uh, now allow me to introduce you to the president of the Yeti, Marat Resin. Somebody's cool. <laughs> cool. Dear Honorable Minister, dear members of Armenian Parliament, dear representatives of uh, Consulate of Russian Federation in Armenia, Dear our graduates, dear guests, welcome uh, to our graduation session. I want to start this from welcoming a very special person for me, who made a long way from Canada to here to see what we do and how we do. This is my biggest supporter and biggest uh, criticist, uh, which is my mom, Elena Resin. Спасибо, мамочка, что ты здесь. <laughs> so, uh, we absolutely thrilled the way how we are welcomed here in Armenia and we want to thank uh, the government of Armenia and our dear partner uh, Yerevan branch uh, of Plihanov um, Russian University of Economics. A uh, couple words about Yedi, if I can have quicker. It is a, a university business accelerator located in York University, Toronto, Canada. We have different programs for startups, for both uh, from Canada and from abroad. Uh, we have hundreds of uh, interesting uh, projects graduated from our, our programming. On top of Canadian programs, we have a program for international entrepreneurs. They may come to Canada for a few weeks to stay with us, to work with us. And um, you may see here, this is our educational facility at uh, York University with a hotel here where we welcome them and uh, do our training. On top of our programming, we have uh, several business acceleration campuses, as you may see here and here. Um, the campuses consist of facilities of all different uh, needs, all different types. It's manufacturing, uh, even theater, TV studios, uh, facilities for IT companies, and so on. Very hands-on, where the startups graduated from our programming may start and grow uh, with our help and support, and with the help and support of many, many mentors who are specialists of, uh, from different fields uh, to help them to understand uh, all the multiple sectors of uh, Canadian economics. And it is to say that Canada is a great gateway to North American market. It's almost the same market, but it's easier and it's cheaper uh, to start and grow uh, from Canada. Now, if you see this campus, this is uh, the, the business acceleration campus that we specifically designed 
for international companies when they come to North American market. So they may open their offices and we help them to get all the possible connections and uh, get quickly to North American market and succeed. On top of all the programming, uh, Yeti has so-called venture capital fund, which we use to support our startups to get to the level when uh, more serious investors may come in. And this is the point of our exit. We run our programs not only in Canada. We do it around the globe. The reason for it is not, uh, the reason for it is uh, that it's not easy for some uh, uh, companies and some startups to come to Canada. It's a long way, it's uh, complicated visa issues and all this stuff. So we started uh, the model to run our programs in other countries. And the objectives of this program is a little bit different. Sometimes when, uh, when uh, there are countries with uh, smaller markets, uh, there is a problem. Because people start their business, they grow it a little bit, and then what to do? They have to either sell the, the project to North American companies or to European companies, or to move to other countries, which is not good, right? So we specifically designed this program for such startups uh, that may start and grow their business from their home country with understanding how to grow to North American global markets. Uh, we also have a practice of building uh, business acceleration campuses in, in uh, other countries. We build it now uh, in Israel, for example, where we have our program for already four years with a big support of the Ministry of Innovation of Israel and in many other places. As it was mentioned, uh, last year we opened our academic department in the Russian University of Economics, which also helps us to um, build our relationships on the Russian market, and so on. Next January, for example, we'll run our program in, in, in Tokyo to hug Asia as well. As it was mentioned, it was very interesting to, uh, to us and very encouraging to us to see the changes that happens here uh, in Armenia. And we specifically wanted uh, to bring this program to Armenia now uh, to give at least a little support uh, to the beautiful pro uh, processes that uh, take place here. And bring people from around the globe to Armenia to see that this is a great market uh, that may and will grow to attract investments and by the way, it is to say that in Canada, high, higher education is one of the important positions of expert. Because when international students come to Canada to get higher education, it, create, it creates expert revenue. It's about $3 billion that Canada gets from this source every year, and it's all, it, and it's only uh, from tuition, and then think, think of accommodation and all the other stuff. So this is important um, part of uh, export. And I think it's a, good, it's a very good idea uh, to bring it to Armenia as well. So since we see such a, such a great support from uh, Armenian government and uh, universities and other organizations, uh, I officially want to say that Yedi will be, ha uh, will be happy to uh, deeper partner uh, with our Armenia and uh, Armenian startup ecosystem, and uh, if there will, will be will and support from uh, uh, local universities and government, we'll be happy to build our business acceleration campus here and uh, to run uh, our programs on the, um, on a regular basis. Dear graduates, I mentioned many times during this program that partnership is a very important tool to get to, to any new market. So we want to show here the example uh, of how partnership helps. You know, Mark Twain sa said once that uh, there are two most important days in one's life. The day you was, uh, you was born and the day you found out why. And I think uh, the moment when you decided to bring your innovation to the world to make this world a better place 
was that important second day. So on behalf of all the Yeti team, I want to wish you all the possible success. Thank you. <laughs> now I want to invite uh, Yeti's Director of International Programming, Mr. Richard Phillips, to say a couple words. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say that uh, there is a Swedish organization that uh, analyzes and ranks university business incubators and accelerators uh, called UBI Global, which uh, ranked us l l last year as the number one in the world. So we're happy to, to bring this reputation to Armenian market as well. Okay, now Mr. Phillips. Oh, yeah. I would like to introduce you to the chairman of trustees boards of Plikhanov University, Arman Vartanyan. Argelitik Nagev Paronaik, Ochunman Bolor Nerkanerin, Privestu Tajan Nashev Rasiski Kalek, Tsiodi Nikto na Ruskam Pakashin Razgavarival, Noya Buduna Armenskam, Uvirin Stovi Uje Ivo Znaiti Luchinas. Ureman Argeli Hurej, Nach Snakalichanam Haitnum, Lavan Kerocha, Paron Resinin, or Eis Michotsa Rumaterion at Savaya Stanum, Yvor Vorshat Karebore, Yev Naivochum, Merhurein, Janachvat, businessman Nerin, Vorongorye Kelen, Vietnamese, China Stanitz and Kastanitz. Iranit, Yev Huisovan Vod, Idenk Aizir Kushapatvan Tatskum, Tesnelov, Yev Aprelov, Hayastana, Yev Tesnelov, Hayastanum, Norida Iro Hutsunera, Nun Pestan Kutsum Kunan, Hayastanum, Anel Naman Zaragre, Vorovetev, Irakanum, Shad Bank and Alof Pofume de Pidrakan, Yev Hayastanum, Naev Investition. Այդ կլիմատը նույնպես գնալով բարելավում է եւ եւ դա գտնում է ավելի բարձր մակարդակում։ But okay, I'll make a bit shorter, if you don't mind, but um is Arman Razmikaich he wants to greet uh, all the ladies and gentlemen and guests present uh, being present here all the participants from different countries or prosperous businessmen and entrepreneurs. And he, he wants to thank especially to his best friend Marat Resin for, for this initiative, for organization of such an event, solemn procedure here in Armenia. He hopes that this partnership among um, the countries participating in this session will go further and it will be bring it positive outcomes for Armenia. You see all the positive changes in Armenia and Armenia is a very good platform for good investments. Ureman, inch vera berume, baron resin arta etat, hamagorzakian vera verial, menk bats and hamagorzakian hamar, yef shat artenis knarkelen, ait strategiakan, hamagorzakian, rasmarakan, hamagorzakian yezre, yef mes hamar shat karevore ait racharke, yef shat antuneli, kartsmen vor hayastanum, menkunenk amena karevore, menkunenk zohovurt vor uni. Barcel Ashata Silutsun, you have made intellectual potential, for a word, Tsavok Sorti, Der Shat Octagurts was Chi, Shat Artahait was Chi, Bites Genal of Process Nere Tanumen and Banibur, Menkaloreng Artahanel, Chunenal of Naft Gas, Karoreng Artahanel, intellectual potential, you have Ambok Chasharum, Gravel Einterra, or a word, Benoroshe, Naman Barcel. So, um, well, um, what refers to the cooperation with Marat Dressing and Yeni Entrepreneurship Development Institute, we highly value, we are open for any cooperation, and maybe within these two weeks you have seen that our na nation, our Armenians, they are really a very intellectual human resource, and they um, unfortunately not yet completely used so it's a really very good platform for such developments and um, Armenia is a country which has no gas but no oil but you see we have got no natural resources but we have got human resources and we have got great intellectual potential 
which we can export and become one of the leading countries of exporting uh, the intellectual um, this um, power. Nori zuzmam shnora kalu tsun hait ner bolor ner kanerin asem vor aranzes mer vor itsen micho tsarum yev na khazer nutsan hajo utsan chi ga yev mengshat karavu mengzer aranznatu amen meki ner kalu tsun aister yev huisov em vor ais met timov menk karu anan kyanki kochelain bolor tsaragrele vor vor kochvatsen in past mer hayastani hara petutsan bolor utsan hazoratsman yev arach khagatsman shnora kalu tsun bolor Again, my, I want to express my thankfulness to all the participants here from other countries, and um, I would like to draw your attention to our opening to any cooperation with our participants from different countries. And once again, my thankfulness to all the participants. Please meet the Director of International Program of YEDI, Rick Phillips. A lot of speeches today. Are you tired? No. You okay? Good, good, good. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be here. I love to be around uh, business people, entrepreneurs, politicians. There's many things that bring us all together. And there's two things that start with the letter P that we always have to consider. The first P is partnerships, as Murat has mentioned. Uh, not only with, the, with Armenia, the country and the government, but also with Plakanov University. So before I start uh, my second P, I want to just give a quick letter of appreciation. I'm going to read this. This is for Plakanov University. We would like to sincerely thank you for your partnership and support of the Yeti International Startup Program at Plakanov Russian University of Economics, Yerevan branch. Your professional assistance and collaborative efforts are much appreciated, not only by Yeti staff, but by our students. We look forward to the ongoing cooperation and collaboration of our mutual projects. Signed by myself and Dr. Murat Rayson. Okay? This is for Tamara, and we want to give this to her, and it's a small thank you of partnership. So the first P that every business person entrepreneur has to remember is partnership. The second P, the second P, Problem solving. Problem solving. When you go to a new country, you have to solve the problem. How do I get from the airport to the hotel, for example? Or how do I launch a business into a new environment? How do I get someone to listen to my idea? Whether I'm an entrepreneur selling something, a business person selling something, or a politician selling something. It's all the same concept. This brings us all together. Our entrepreneurs today are from different countries. They have different ideas from different sectors. But the one thing they have in common, they have to identify to you a problem. A problem in the world that needs to be solved. If they cannot do that, they will not have your interest. So no pressure on the pitch. We're going to have five minute pitches for each company to tell you a little bit about themselves, a little bit about their idea, their innovation, why it might fit to the Canadian market or even the Armenian market. But the most important thing is, hopefully, and I'm sure, they will identify what is a problem in the world that we can all relate to and why it needs to be solved. And that is the goal for today. Okay? Without further ado, I think it's time to start the pitches. The administration can sit down, the students can go to work. And so I'd like to introduce our first group to come up and do the five minute pitch, fly rub and fly, and let's, let's give these entrepreneurs our support. Thank you so much. Hold on to this. Move back a bit. Move back a bit. Grab one, two, three. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Good. Wait a second. Wait a second. Does it click away? 
Um, as you know that uh, playing musical instrument uh, is extremely rewarding and interesting hobby for many people all over the world. Also, it is proven that um, playing musical instruments and also listening to it has great impact in our health and mood. Uh, but at the same time, uh, there is a, it is very challenging for many people uh, to learn how to play music. Usually the small kids in preschool ages and also people who suffer from cognitive disorder or a special medical condition uh, have such problems. People uh, who suffer from Down syndrome, <coughs> autism, uh, and dyslexia. According to the statistics, 10% uh, of the Canadians suffer from learning disability and 98% of them report impact in their education. Also, 51% of the parents report difficulties in getting a special education for their children. So it shows that uh, the problem has been recognized by parents and by the government. So as a solution, uh, many countries have inclusive education policy. Uh, they try to provide supporting environment uh, to convey the feeling of competence to all the people, especially people with disabilities. Uh, also, they try to provide opportunities to participate for everybody in their society. For example, in Armenia, the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability ratified in 2000. Also, there are many NGOs in Armenia which help and support the disabled people. In terms of inclusive music education policy, we have some general uh, methods and guidelines to simplify the progress, progress of education, but there is no any concrete application to do so. What we have done in Fly, Love in Fly, we have a very innovative method of teaching music to those people that I mentioned. The core problem was that the lack of visualization in the conventional notation symbol. So what we have done is that uh, we, instead of this, we use memorable and appealing features of animals like birds, puppies, and lions as a visual clue to make it simplify uh, to the people to, to understand better about the logic behind the uh, musical rules. Um, we, we already had an initial market research about our application and um, it was approved by, by, by the market. They, we got a great feedback from them. Also, we have been consulting with many uh, music teachers and they approved our, our methodology. Also, it is an interactive, interactive software that uh, can be used as a preparatory stage of learning music. And after that, people can go to the uh, more formal curriculums of the uh, music. The advantages of the, our application, it's simple and understandable. Uh, more people can uh, learn music, more people can be entertained, and more people can be involved in the society. So it has a great social impact. There is no age need. Uh, kids in the preschool ages, as well as the adults with some disabilities, can use uh, our application. Um, definitely, it has user-friendly user interface, and also it can be used uh, by individual as well as by groups in their music class. And it has affordable price. It is just uh, $3.99 for individuals and $5 monthly subscription fee uh, for the music classes. At the end, let me talk about the capability of our team. Uh, I have 
Tengeze. I have been the, in the music industry for more than a decade. I'm in contact, close contact with the music school and also teacher. Also, one of our team members is expert in digital marketing, advertising, and create uh, content creation. Also, we have a wonderful art teacher in our group who knows the mindset of children, and also she helps us in illustration and artistic part of the business. I hope that with your support and guidance, we can uh, implement this project successfully in the market. Thank you. Especially the short business trips. People are big to limit their luggage and uh, take uh, less items with themselves. So uh, we uh, quite naturally, uh, people they are living their beauty products and uh, uh, toiletries. Quite often, uh, we uh, the the concerns are more. But, uh, So, as you are aware, for business frequent flyers, they have to respect the rules and travel light. And also, uh, uh, women are uh, more concerned when they do not uh, carry the Therefore, we are addressing this problem, uh, especially when uh, we have to, uh, you know, the business traveler should feed everything together uh, by following and respecting the need. Uh, a strict uh, security regulations. So, People, they, they have two choices. Either they are going to uh, opt for the hotel uh, cheap toiletries when they uh, arrive, or simply order them when uh, they reach to destination. What if uh, you do have you have to uh, you need a certain brand? or you require some sort of toiletries due to uh, several reasons. Either um, a skin irritation, preference on some sort of brand, or allergy to the cheap hotel toiletries, which I bring some sort of sample. Normally, it's provided by hotels. So, we, uh, with my team, have seen uh, this problem and uh, tried to address it by uh, this startup, luxury beauty products delivered to the audience. So, the concept of having uh, your triple brand uh, using shared economy would be the whole startup about. 
we are going to use uh, the shared economy, uh, the riders, uh, which we are not hiring them, they would be uh, independent riders, and have them uh, delivered uh, by uh, when uh, the, uh, the, the, the, the uh, traveler uh, uh, planned, um, sorry, uh, when the traveler going to uh, place an order using the platform online, they can simply get it delivered within 2 to 12 hours. So uh, we are not going to own these uh, beauty products or stock them or hire the drivers. This would be based on the shared economy, some sort of either Uber like delivery. Uh, our team would be Mr. Agazade, who is experiencing running his own uh, food producing uh, factory. Mr. Ali Reza Yusuf Afaf, uh, the MBA, experience in production, and uh, going to, uh, to take care of HR. And I, I have the bachelor's degree in electronics, and going to the lead piece uh, startup. We did the market testing uh, in Canada, and 56% of the business travelers showed their interest to use our service uh, two to three times per month. And also, the platform is uh, under development, so the pr prototype will be ready very soon. We have also in discussion with two large uh, beauty products uh, distributors, also a few uh, hotel chains, which they show interest, and they are going to provide us better of intent. And based on the statistics, Tourism industry providing 127 billion Canadian dollars to Canada itself. And uh, by 2025, the, uh, Canada would be one of the top 10 country, most visited countries. Also, by 2021, number of uh, visitors are going to be increased by 30%, and also, by 2021, Chinese visitors would be doubled. And I would uh, like to uh, express my uh, sincere thanks to EADC and also the European government, which gives us this opportunity to have this uh, training here. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Schwarzman speaking. I am a medical doctor. I also uh, used to be an associate professor in Vietnam University in the academic department. Uh, today, I want to speak about the problem. Uh, it has a medical board. It is this mineral. It, everybody can affect with this problem because Although it affects 80% uh, women, but uh, everybody can affect this because we have sister, daughter, and so on. Uh, so in 80%, this cramping pain is, uh, the women have this cramping pain, and so uh, some other discomfort, yeah. It's not right, uh, like nausea, vomiting, and this. But in 10%, it is so severe and so serious that throughout their work and their different life, the pain is unavoidable and unexpected. It can happen uh, during travel, travel during uh, shopping, and other things. Uh, that is very important. Let me tell you a story. I have a medical lab 
in knows what to be on. Uh, I have more than 20 staff, most of them are ladies. And uh, I have a uh, nice girl, well educated, well qualified, but she has a big problem. Uh, every month, one or two days, she uh, has a severe pain, serious severe pain, and uh, that, um, don't work more. And I tell her to go home and get rest, have a rest. Uh, so it is very uh, common problem and very serious. Uh, what they do now? They have traditional ways for relief the pain, warming, and take a pill, such as Advil. Uh, it costs about 15 to 20 dollars per sheet uh, in Canada. Besides, sometimes. Uh, the drugs allergies uh, has a serious uh, side effect, such as gastrointestinal hemorrhage and bleeding, and uh, it costs more uh, than a complicated habit. What we do? Uh, we talked about a device, two teeny patches, laser based. And uh, it is very light, very uh, in the weight, uh, thin, and attached to lower part of our abdomen, easily used. On the other side, it's connected to any smartphone. Uh, it acts on nerves, get nerves busy, so the signals don't send to the brain and relieve the pain. The other work is open blood vessel circulation system and improve uh, uh, the circulation and blood uh, circulation and uh, relieve the pain. Our device only costs, we estimated that about 20 to 30 dollars, only 20 or 30. We also think about a, a special uh, application in the smartphone. Uh, it can be customized for every customer and tailor the program, device program. We have a successful pilot study in Tehran University. It worked well. We, we are in prototyping model. And uh, this Device has so many advantages. It is, it has more lasting treatment. No need to separate battery or supply. Uh, the mobile app can customize treatment mode. Every customer can customize, and no medication required. Today, people like to uh, act naturally more naturally, without drug, it is drug free, and very small, you can get it and put in every corner of, of your bag, and have it forever. Uh, and the last advantage is, is attractive price, uh, because it's price only 20 to 30 dollars. Uh, our team, uh, this is Dr. Magis Mehrabi, she is a gynecologist and obstetrician, and the uh, head of the gynecology department, Tehran, one of Tehran hospitals. This is me, I am a pathologist. I work for the specimens, women specimens. A lot. This is Dr. Moulayi. She is, uh, he is a urologist. Actually, her wife is a gynecologist. Uh, he had a three uh, clinic in Iran, and uh, she is uh, a, an experience, and she has a long experience in gynecology in Iran. Thank you for Thank you for attention. Your attention.
Now we learn how to act in the business, how to run it, and how to grow it. Thank you. the books with larger forms, brighter and lighter and uh, brighter and larger illustration, adopted content and thicker paper and durable hard covers. Our advantage is loyal audience, uh, copyright adopted text, copyright illustration, partnership with retirement homes. And uh, top market market printed of goods uh, will be stagnating. The section of uh, printed goods designed for seniors has improved prospective to group. Uh, we can examine some uh, statical data from Canada. In 2040, about four million popular, uh, four million people of population. That means about uh, over nine percent uh, age over 65. And uh, in uh, 2003. 2030. 30. In less more than two decades, this uh, group increased to the more than 50 percent. So, 
growing market, huge support government, and of course the Trump team. Uh, that's all the reason to start this population. Thank you so much. Good morning to all. I'm Rakesh from India. You can see the features over here. It is taken in the night time. From either 2 a.m., from either 3 a.m. This is the public place. This both features. You can see nobody is there. Still the light is on. It is brightening 100%. One more picture. Fortunately, last week I was walking in Yerevan, I witnessed the street light is on at 2 p.m. This is not only this. In India, Canada, 